Welcome to the Tikmil Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Investiva Movement. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the Tikmil YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with anyone in your friends who trade Forex. Last week, the US dollar took a bunch of beating on a combination of Fed rate cut actions and expectations. And as the coronavirus starts the spread through the United States, topping 550 cases and 21 deaths at the time of filming. Meanwhile, the Canadian dollar took a massive hit on Friday and early during the Monday's Asian session as oil prices continued to drop to its worst day in 10 years. This week is projected to remain incredibly volatile across most currency pairs. But on Monday, we'll also be looking at China's CPI for February. Today, I'm looking at the dollar Swissy pair, which is quickly approaching the key support level of 0.9232, which we identified last week. From what it looks like, with the coronavirus turning into a pandemic and continuing to spread across the U.S., we could expect the pair to continue dropping towards the lows of 2016, with supports set at 0.90 and 0.87 respectively. But then again, the news are changing so quickly that we can't be too sure. While there could be a ton of rewards shorting the pair, there's also a huge amount of risk. I'd love to hear from you. Are you trading the current markets or are you staying on the sidelines until things get stabilized a little bit again? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I will get back to you with more updates tomorrow.